Now to a Senate race that right now really is too close to call. And the Democrat, Joe Donnelly's campaign, is now taking a pretty abrupt turn to the right. Political experts watching say this is a gamble that could win over Republicans or and put off Democrats. Our Rich Van Wyk has been asking questions about this new strategy and looking for answers all day. So, Rich, what'd you learn? I learned a lot of people were surprised and shocked. First of all, though, there's perspective. Donnelly and Republican Mike Braun, they've been campaigning for what seems like forever. Together, the two candidates have raised more than $28 million. Campaign commercials, they're running nonstop. And yet polls have the candidates running almost neck and neck, giving Donnelly just a slight lead. Republicans are beating him up as a radical liberal. Donnelly is now firing back. In a new commercial, he opposes the policies of socialist radical Democrats. He stands with Republican President Donald Trump and his border wall and quotes Republican President Ronald Reagan when endorsing defense spending. One political expert told me the ad is crazy but smart. Is it an act of desperation or shrewd tactic to win over moderate Republicans? We're going to see coming up at 5.30. Anne-Marie? All right, we'll check back. Thank you, Rich. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about all the candidates that are running in the uh, upcoming election and also for Indiana Senate seat, head on over to our website at WTHR.com slash Senate. Well, there had been talk about a blue wave sweeping a lot of states in this midterm election. Yeah, however, a new report out shows Democratic and GOP voter registrations really are about the same level as they've been in the past. Now we're taking a closer look at the report from Target Smart. It took a look at the Senate race here in Indiana, and here's what it found. More registration activity this year from Republicans. Of all the Hoosiers who registered for the first time or updated their registration, about 41% are Republicans, 33% are Democrats. And you've got plenty of time to vote before November 6th. If you're here in Marion County, you can vote early in the clerk o clerk's office downtown. You can also cast your ballot at one of six satellite locations all across Marion County starting October 26th through November 4th. We've got a link to those locations with this story. You'll find it on WTHR.com slash Decision 2018.